So the first thing you're going to do to create your Christmas stocking is download the template and sand tape it together. If you've not done this before, I have a video showing you how to assemble a PDF pattern. The template is on the blog post. Next thing you're going to do is cut out two pieces of denim. They've got to be mirror images of each other. This pair of trousers is great because they're just wide enough. If you need to include the seam allowances or if you want to, you can fold your jeans so that you have a seam running all way down. Depends upon what look you want for your finished stocking. There we go, one finished, cut out, two pieces of denim stocking. So the next step is to create the cuff across the top, the heel and the toe. I'm just going to use some random pieces of fabric and place them Um, you can just make this up as you go. You do want um, a nice straight line here if you can. Right, is that any better? Yes, I prefer that. And then that. And then we'll go from there. So I just need a piece. As you can see, this is a very random process. There we go. So I'm going to just pin those in place. So that's the cuff done. Now I need to do the heel and the toe. I've just been doing this by eye. What should I go for? I think I'll go for this one. Pin that in place and trim. So that's one heel right now for the toe. Obviously, you can do these in different fabrics, but I prefer to do it in the same fabric. So 
the Easy Happy Fabrics ironed first. Right, I'll pin that on and then just make that a little bit more curved. And trim from the other side. Right. So there we have our stocking with our red fabric scraps. So I could trim across here too. Just do that. So the next step is to stitch the fabric scraps down with a running stitch. I'll just get some thread. So now it's time to do. Now it's time to stitch hand stitch. Now it's time to hand stitch your fabric scraps in place. I've got some white embroidery floss with a knot on the end and I'm simply going to do a running stitch so in and out in and out so this running stitch is going to hold the fabric scraps in place and add a decorative finish So the running stitch is going to run parallel to each other. So the further apart you do them, the quicker the project will be. Now my stitches are slightly variable in length. I'm not worried about them being exactly the same as each other. That's not necessary. I am going to make sure I go over the raw edge at the end. So just keep going with your running stitch all the way down your cuff. So once you've stitched your stocking top, it's time to do the heel and the toe. So you're going to do this in exactly the same process. Simple running stitch. I start on the outer edge of the heel do running stitch all around the shape and when I get to the edge I just turn around And repeat. So you can see how I've done several lines of stitching, I'm just going to keep going, keep going, keep going into the corner and then I'm going to repeat the same for the heel. So I'm going to stitch along here, and round and round and round until I get to the edge. So once you've finished your stitching, your hand stitching, it's time to edge your stockings. I've used an overlocker because I've got one and I've gone all the way around the sides, including across the top. If you don't have an overlocker, you can use a zigzag stitch. 
Denim does fray. This is going to really help secure and keep it tidy inside your stocking. So to make a tassel for the back of your stocking, cut several strands, reasonable length. To be honest, I just unraveled mine and cut it like that. So fold your strands in half and wrap around close to the top. This gives you a, a loop and the ends of the tassel. So just keep wrapping tightly and then tie a knot to secure. If you think your tassel is a bit long, I think this is a bit long, you can just simply trim to the size you want. There you go. So quick and easy to make a tassel. So we're going to add the tassel and a hanging loop and place the fabrics together and finish so the two sides of the stocking together. So there's my hanging loop. That's going to face inside into the stocking with a uh, knot and the edges facing outwards. And the same for my tassel. I'm just going to make my tassel a little bit shorter. That's better. So they are half an inch down from the top, about a centimetre, centimetre and a half. Then place the second side of the stocking over the top. Pin all round, particularly where you've got your knots here. Pin all round and then machine stitch your stocking together. You're going to go down each side, around the bottom and back to the top. Um, obviously not across the top, you need to keep that bit open, that's the open top of your stocking. So you stitched round, turn the top of your stocking over. I think you see I've got my hanging loop, but we need to deal with this raw edge at the top of the stocking. Turn it over. I'm turning about half an inch over. And then once we've pinned it all around, we're going to do little, little slip stitches just to hold it in place. I'm going to use a navy thread so that when I'm on the back of the stocking, it's not going to show. On the front of the stocking with the hand stitching, it's not likely to go through all the way. So, grab a needle and thread and Just do little stitches catching the front of the fabric, securing your top edge down. So you're going to go all the way round. Won't take you very long. Turn over the top of your stocking to the wrong side and pin and then you're going to do little slip stitches to hold it in place. So I'm putting my needle in, just catching a few threads from the front, then my needle through back and through the turned over edge just to catch that neatly down and secure in place. Continue all the way around until 
you've finished the top of your stocking. Once you've finished hand stitching, just turn your stocking the right side out. You want to give it a good old press to get these um, edges nice and crisp. There you have it, one finished Christmas stocking.